Hello viewers, this is my uh, my January uh, horror block. So let's get straight into it and see what we have this month. First out, as always, is the t-shirt, and here it is, it's a Chucky one, uh, Good Guys Dolls, a Playhouse Company product, I <laughs> think that's, that's pretty cool, and next we actually have a second t-shirt, which I was not expecting, and this just looks cool as well if you can see the, the full, full extent of it it actually says on there normal people scare me um, looks a bit um, almost like a freak show or, or side show as it is you've got a strong man person with two heads stuff like that but that it is quite an awesome looking t-shirt I'm not sure I think it may be from uh, American Horror Story, I think that's from. Well, that's pretty cool. And then next we have a little box that says Living Dead Dolls Figurines. That's pink, pink posy. You see the, uh, the figure. So uh, let's open it up. Take a look. I know Living Dead Dolls are usually a large kind of a doll. Okay, so there we go. You can see that. There's a little, another little bag in there. It's got a rose in there. I don't know if you can see that. Let me just see if I can. And there she is. Little dead doll called... Uh, Pink posy, it's quite quite cool. That'll go next to my one I got the other day, and then we have we've got two of these, two little balls. So let's uh, open them up and see what we have. Ooh, nice and tight. Let's uh, see what we have inside. Oh, God dear, that is difficult. There we go. Oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> if you can see that, it looks like a head. Okay, with purple tongue hanging out, and I don't know if there's meant to be a little fly on the on the tongue, and then oh, and then out the back of it, it looks like a Almost like a centipede or millipede is going through it. Okay, and the we have a little thing. It's called Mad Mad Balls. Okay, so as you can see, this is the collection. Okay, so there's quite a few of them to collect on there. So we are looking at. One with a purple tongue on it. Ah, I think it's this one here. I think it's Creep Frog is the one I've got there. And, uh, like I say, if you can see. Right, so that's one. Let's see if we can get the other one open. Like I say, these are tight, very tightly closed. They're uh, well compacted. Oh, I've got the other one open, I'm not really too sure. I think I was just lucky. Uh, oh, wow. So difficult to undo. <laughs> yeah, says, let, let me uh, try something here. Okay, I'm going to come back to that one. I'll come back to that one. Right. What else we have is Twilight Zone comic. Uh, issue, first issue. Shadow and Substance, it's uh, called. 
it's all uh, wrapped up it's um, got a date on there uh, it just says rated rated T for teen most probably now that looks that looks pretty cool um, well on the back there that has 2015 so it has to be this year okay so there's a, a brand new uh, comic which is excellent and then finally we have the newest edition of a uh, remorg um, so we have New Zealand resurrects the horror comedy with what we do in the shadows and housebound and then there's also a stop motion from Miles to modern day masters RIP 2014 the best and the worst uh, open windows Hitchcock in cyberspace uh, the 2015 film festival and convention guide and then you have a Deborah Hill documentary Nick Cutter's The Deep and Don't Fear the Reaper so again another excellent uh, magazine from Rue Morgue um, so this here in the, the centre of the magazine is the uh, 2015 horror convention and film schedule so it has horror conventions there lots of dates and film festivals as well so they've uh, they've even got one there for if I can show you that Edinburgh Scotland which is a uh, okay it's still a few hours uh, away from me but um, at least they've, they've included European ones as well which is good not just the uh, the American ones one there for um, Cape Town South Africa which is going to focus which is not is it being stupid? No. Oh, there we go. So you got Cape Town, Spain, Utah, California. So there's uh, all over. So that, that's uh, oh, there is one there for England, the Bram Stoker International Film Festival, which is in Whitby again, that's up north, north and from me. So uh, that's all pretty cool. That's excellent. Uh, and this is the the review of 2014 uh, so there they have best feature the Badaduke which was a great film uh, uh, I've seen that you got best best short film most original concept best documentary best film you didn't see uh, best new killer best monster uh, goriest film, goriest scene, uh, best Blu-ray DVD packaging, uh, most welcome reissue, best remake, biggest disappointment, uh, worst cinematic atrocity to wound retinas, <laughs> um, uh, best poster, best comeback, best special edition vinyl, best vinyl artwork, best reissue, uh, and that's uh, down to music, uh, best soundtrack, best album, best television, uh, best fiction book, best non-fiction book, uh, best art book, graphic novel, ongoing comic book series, limited comic book series, and then you have least anticipated in 2015, which is Resident <laughs> Evil 6, and most anticipated in 2015, Phantasm Rav Ravager, is that? Uh, best feature as voted by the Rue Morgue Facebook fan page, Babadook. Uh, worst trend, best trend, best non video game, best video game, best comic book slash graphic novel artist, and best comic book slash graphic novel writer. So they gave away, uh, that's a, a really good uh, review of, you know, it's covering all, um, you know, music books, computer games, films, that's that's covering a lot, which is really good. Um, so like I said, the Remorg is a, is a great magazine. Um, I really uh, like that we we get it every every month in um, in, in the horror block. 
Um, so let me just try and get this other <laughs> bauble open if I can. We have to see what this other head is that's in there because we've seen one, we need to know what this other one is. I cannot believe how difficult it is to open it. So let me uh, pause this recording and I will, uh, as soon as I get it open, I'll be back. Okay, we're back. I've got it open. It took a, <laughs> took a while. And this one, I don't know if you can see that one a bit, a bit better, it's, it looks almost like a kind of dog, I think. There's uh, something oozing out of its eye. And as you go around the back, oh, you can see its, it's brain there. Um, camera's being annoying today and not uh there we go see its brain and you go oh a second face on the back by the looks of it looks like another face there's two faces one on that side and one on that side so looking at the list we have got that one there there it is it is called flea bag so, a bit uncannily, we had the two that are next to each other on the list. We had Creep Frog and Flea Bag. Uh, so they're just soft, squishy, little, uh, well, they were called Mad Balls. So uh, that completes the box. Another great month from, uh, from Horror Block. So uh, until next month, I'll see you all later. Thanks for viewing.